Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. I feel like I need to say something really, really fast. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if somebody's talking really fast, or I just gotta get this out. I just gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Which I wasn't in the excited energy before I hit record. I don't know. I just started doing a pre-shuffle, and then all of a sudden, I'm just like, I gotta do this. Like, I have to. I'm so excited. So something good's coming in, which is great because there's the end of a tough cycle approaches. Halla freaking Luya, right? Um, so if you've been struggling, going through, I don't know, if you've been going round and round with another person or within a situation um, where it seems like nothing ever changes, it's changing. A new start is coming. There's a time for healing. I don't know, there could have been misunderstandings here as well. So maybe somebody's seeing your perspective in a situation um i don't know whatever it is it's it's coming it's coming it's happening it's happening no i don't know i feel like ah, i just want to jump for joy i gotta keep this out is somebody manic because that's kind of how i feel right now like i feel over the top excited which if you get excited it doesn't mean you're manic but maybe there's someone who deals with manic episodes um because I like, I'm coming out of my skin right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, whatever this is, it's extremely exciting for someone. That's, I don't know. It feels good. So let's, let's see. Hopefully we keep that happy energy. Has something to do with a house or family situation. A new start is coming. I'm so excited. Hmm. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Okay, so what is this about? What is this house about? Um, is somebody leaving you their house? Because I just saw courthouse. There's either some type of family situation that's reaching a resolution through court. You know, I don't know if you're going to win your custody case or win. I don't know. Something positive is happening through court, whatever it is. It could be, you know, just family court. I'm not sure exactly where the win is there, but I'm also feeling I picked up on that in a different reading where I wasn't sure if someone was going to be given a house or money or something which i don't think i shared that one yet and I'm, I'm going to it's kind of a disturbing reading and i think that's at least towards the end especially towards the end um but yeah someone's leaving you property a house something and this is like legally binding is what i picked up on before where it's like yep i'm gonna make sure you get this Somebody wants to give you their house or when they pass or I don't know. Maybe they have more than one house. Could be someone who's rich. Who knows? That's really cool, but I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I mean, that would be exciting getting a house, but that's definitely not for everyone. I want a little bit more on what's, what's coming. I just heard I didn't tell anyone that. So if somebody's thinking about doing this for you or for another person or you're thinking about doing it for someone... You haven't told anyone. Tower. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Some of you are just excited because you can finally buy a freaking house too. You know what I mean? Like, yay. Um, no more renting. I'm going to be buying this house because I've got enough money for it now. So something really great is coming in financially for you. It's either someone's gifting you a house or property or both. Or um, there's some type of money coming in for you that either you earned or... Maybe it's inheritance. Whatever this money is, it will allow you to buy this house. Um, to to create a stable foundation for yourself. Someone's excited because they're going to be buying a house or getting a house. Um, spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Kangaroo, unsettled times, a need to plan ahead. Okay, this is very contradicting. Just seeing. A need to plan ahead. over something's happening over time over time it's been a long time coming apparently for whatever this is I don't know it feels exciting but this this doesn't 
whatever this is. Okay, you've earned this property or money or something, and it's coming in for you. If it's not here yet, don't worry. It's going to work out for you. But it could upset somebody else because they're not going to be part of this or it's not for them, it's for you kind of thing. I don't know, because I feel like things are working out, yay, and there's somebody else that's like, damn it, I really, I wish I would have planned ahead. I, I needed, oh, shit, like something isn't working out for someone, but it's working out for you. I don't know if it's the same situation or if someone's just going, oh, crap. Um, whatever it is, it feels exciting, minus the all crapness, basically. So, collision of belief styles, attitudes, and energies. Yeah, there's opposing energies here. And it might not be like, okay, it's not your partner or anything like that. That's not what this feels like. It could be somebody who is just in your life or surrounding the situation where they, they might get upset that you're attaining this or getting this and they're not. Yeah, that's what that's kind of what that feels like. I just heard how come everything gets taken away from me? So somebody's upset because they're losing out basically. Something's getting taken from them because it's not for them or something to do with a tow, like a tow truck. Somebody car is there a repossession here for someone? Cuz there's an ebb and flow to energy in life. I'm just saying and it's like, you win some, you lose some, but it, it's almost like one person in this situation is going to lose out and the other person's going to gain, but it's not because whoever's gaining is taking. It's, I don't know, the, the universe is recalibrating things. Someone's going to be on the losing end. Yeah. From death comes rebirth. Cause I feel like you've experienced a lot of, um, a lot of difficulties in your life over the years or within the situation or both. Um, Callie, don't fuck around. I'm just saying. Could have a significant, something significant to do with a birth. Does somebody just give birth or does it have to do with your birth date? But. Birth and death. Yeah, for. I don't know, for some of you, this is coming from the death of someone, and it's it's a gift to you because when they pass, this is what you're going to get from them. But I feel like you're totally unaware of it. So this isn't someone where you've consulted with them and they told you, like, you're in the will or I'm doing this for you. You literally have no idea and you won't know until this person passes or, you know what I mean? Like, it is, it's a secret. They just want to make sure that you're good, basically, which that's really great. Um, I mean, my condolences to whoever passes when that happens, but this feels like it's someone where it would either be a planned passing. Do you know what I mean? Like a hospice care or an illness or they're elderly, you know, so it's it's still sad, but it's it's not like someone's life getting cut short kind of thing. This is someone who has money. They have property. They... Um, they do well for themselves basically so they have something to give hmm. yeah rigid reverse this person could have been very rigid. They could have been very strict with their finances. That's probably why they have money in the bank kind of thing. But I feel like that whoever this is, is, is very by the book. Like, this is how we do it kind of thing. And they don't stray away. And I feel like they could have been very rigid with you in the past. But they're not anymore. I don't know. This person's like, they're either softening up with, with old age or over time person isn't as stubborn as they used to be they're more caring like I don't know 
What's that mentality of when when you're younger and it's like, well, this is my money, I earned it, and I'm not helping no one, or I'm only gonna help select few because I, you know, I want to buy this, pay for this, whatever. Like, it's their money. You do whatever they can do whatever the fuck they want with it. It's theirs, or you can do whatever you want with yours. And then as they get older, because like, it's someone who's very frugal, basically, they're a penny pincher, which bode well for them, I'm just going to say, because they're doing well for themselves. But once you reach, reach a certain age, you, sometimes you look back and go, well, you know, I, I might die tomorrow. I don't fucking need this. Or I'd rather help and do what I can now or later or whatever because when I'm dead and gone, it ain't going to matter to me anymore. Like, this person is thinking about who's going to benefit the most from whatever this is, from their inheritance, basically. But they, I don't know, it, it feels like a change. Like this person, you never in a million years would have thought this person would have fucking included you in their will. And you know what I mean? Like you'd be like, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, or you just won't think of who this is. You, this is going to be a shocker to some of you. Like what? Holy crap. Yeah, this is going to shock someone. I just heard I am reborn. Yeah, so somebody definitely has changed their perspective, uh, their outlook on a situation. There's a lot of changes here within whoever this person is. I just heard a little too late. So this person could be end of life or, you know, like I wish I would have thought this way when I was a little bit younger kind of thing. Um, I don't know. That's kind of what that feels like. I just heard money isn't important. So either you you think that way or this person thinks this way. Like, you know, this the situation, you, whatever is more important than dollar dollar bills, you know? Clinging, holding on, obsessing, spying, reversed. Yeah, it's like letting go of an outdated way of thinking. Because this person's a big time planner. Like I said, which is probably how they got to where they are. Um... Keep looking at rigid. I just heard I don't want to be rigid. I don't want to be stubborn. I don't want to be stuck. This is letting go big time. Somebody's letting go of this energy. They're letting go of an outdated way of thinking and doing things. There's a change here. So if this person was obsessing over you in any way shape or form they're not anymore or they're they're letting something go something because it doesn't feel about you it feels like this person could have been obsessing over something you know like the way that their life unfolded a situation whatever it is they were just like overthinking and just hyper focused on whatever it is and now they're letting it go like it's not worth it why am i overthinking this why am i thinking about this shit still what why did i let that bother me you, you know what i mean and then we have fucking spying. <laughs> Maybe they saw something on your social media or, or whatever um, that led them to this conclusion. Because, yeah, networking. Something to do with someone's work. So you could work online publicly or just like social networking, whatever. They got information through something through your work. Or through their work. Maybe they were gaining information at work, you know, because they're on the computer or whatever. No matter what it is. I can't think about this anymore. I gotta make changes. I can't think about this situation anymore. I gotta make changes. That's what this person's doing. And I don't really feel like that's you. It's someone around you. They could, they could be lurking on your page, paying attention to whatever you do for work or just whatever you do, whatever you post, whatever. Like, they're not talking, they're watching. And it's like, yeah, I gotta stop this. I gotta stop this. Someone's gonna stop doing something or they gotta stop a situation. I gotta stop this. I gotta stop looking. I gotta stop listening. I gotta stop. I don't know, I feel all, I gotta stop doing this. This energy is kind of wacky all of a sudden because it seemed really exciting. I did say someone could be manic. <laughs> oh, there could be a manic episode, but I don't know. That just felt like I'm really happy about whatever this is. And now this is kind of, give me more on spying. 
Mm, not with that. Wait, should I use that one? Yeah, I'll use this one first. And then this one. <sighs> What's up with spying? Why is this here? It doesn't feel like malicious spying. Like, this isn't a stalker or anything like that. It's probably just someone who's checking, checking your page, checking up on you, trying to find information. And it's not for... A bad reason it's just they're trying to figure something out like I need to know about whatever um, I need to know about whatever it could be a family situation so someone in your family might want to know something that's going on with you or in the situation and this person could have been being very stubborn and holding back like I'm not gonna say anything to you but I'm gonna I'm gonna poke around and see see what information I can get so that I don't have to talk to you but they're probably not gaining any information, which is why why there's change here, why they're gonna drop their wall. Because there's something they wanna know or there's something they wanna talk to you about. False person. There's false information here. Falsifying information. Yeah, someone was lying about something, but someone's lying about work, about what they do for work, or when they work, like, oh, I'm going to work, and they're not really going to work. Somebody's falsifying information. It's not at work. It's not like somebody's... Um, I don't know. It's not like anything illegally happening at a company. I mean, that shit happens, but that's not what this is. This is, this person could be saying, oh, I was busy, I've been working, and they weren't. They were doing something else. Person. Work person. I'm working for this person. Someone was lying about working for a specific person. I'm not saying that they don't help out or work work with someone for someone. You know, when, you know, it's like when you hire someone to mow your fucking lawn or whatever. It could be anything. Because um, it's not it's not really that. That's just an example because we can hire people to plow our driveways to do whatever. But someone was lying about working for someone like they could literally do that with this person but not as often or on the days that they said they were doing that that's not what they were doing or something i don't know somebody was lying about working for a specific person or just whatever um i just heard fuck it all so whoever they are they're frustrated and they got caught in their bullshit basically or they're going to I what was it there was someone in the car one of the the signs that I saw there were different words pop out at me but I saw like someone's mother works at a store at a food store someone's mother works at a food store or this person is a mother and they work at a grocery store or a food store or something. Um, and the number eight is significant with that. And false person is number eight. I don't know. When I, st when I looked at the number eight, that's what popped in my head was what I saw when I was in the car. A food store. Social. This mother is socializing with a with a false person. So either that mother person is a liar and a false, you know, pretending, or they're socializing with a liar, with someone who's a problem. They could be socializing at this establishment, like at this grocery store or food store or whatever. Like, that's where they run into them or whoever this false person is. If it's not the person that works there, like the mother, 
um, who's a liar or whatever, um, whoever, there's someone, like a customer that this person knows that comes in, that's the false person. There's someone who's a phony baloney. That 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 the that this mother is talking to. I don't know if it's your mother or if you are the mother. I don't know. Someone's coming into someone's work and it's almost like, oh hey, you know, and I'm talking about this, that, and whoever this false person is, is they want information. So and but they don't go, I don't know, they don't directly ask. It's kind of in a roundabout way. It's very conniving. But they get intel because they're a gossiper and they act like they care. So this mother person would have no problem talking to whoever this phony baloney is observing every action yeah because there's someone who's fucking paying attention but it's probably not who you think it's somebody else i don't know that's significant to someone someone's i don't know someone's mother works in a store oh there's a tower someone's mother works in a store and they're talking to a liar a liar comes in and i don't know if this this false person is feeding false information to 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 your mother or to whoever works at this food store or whatever um or if they're just getting information do you know what i mean it could be a little of both cuz it's almost like how do you know that about me if you're not posting anything online if you're not sharing personal shit or whatever how how do you know that about me cuz this doesn't feel spiritual this doesn't feel like, oh, spirit lets you know, your intuition lets you know, because I do feel like, I pick up on that a lot, and I do feel like that does happen, and people can question it, like, how'd you fucking know about that? Well, spirit tells you, but no, this isn't spirit tells you. This is so-and-so fucking told so-and-so about your ass. Or about whatever's going on. Uh, yeah. Whoever this is, is talking about you, relaying some type of information to another person, but it's false. They're do they have, there's an ulterior motive here. Hmm. This is weird. Someone's still working on something. Well, they need to cut the crap because it's fake. I'm still working on it. Someone's still trying to get it. They're still trying to figure something out. What are they working on? Still working on it powerless the power struggle is real it's just so complicated because someone's making it complicated oh this is gonna hurt ouch or wolf oh, howling in the pack you know howling to the moon so you're calling in the pack your family yeah there's something i don't know if it's like your family and somebody else's family colliding or intermesh intermingled or some crap with bull crap or if it's just your own damn family. You know what I mean? Like someone in your family. I don't know. Something didn't work out for someone. Give me one more on this. I want more on this false person. And what the fuck are they working on? They're working on their escape. <laughs> um, distracted. Nerd. Not these. They're working on their school. Someone is escaping the situation or they're saying that they're not dealing with someone anymore. They're not paying attention. They're not, they're not doing whatever they were doing, but they are. Emotional storm. I did say this person could be manic. <laughs> um, secrets coming out. Open heart, receptive, empathy, vulnerable. Yeah, this person is pretending to care. They're pretending to be receptive, to understand, to to care about the situation or to care about you or I really care about your son. I really care about blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I said son. I saw the word. So this person could like, that could be how they're getting information from this mother. Whoever this person is, is going like, I really care about your son so much. You know, what's going on with him? What's going, or what's going on with your daughter? What's going on with your kid? You know, like, I really hope that he or she's doing better. Feels like someone's son. And this mother's like, oh yeah, you know, this is going on, or I wish this wasn't happening, or I don't know, this person would, would divulge whatever is going on about you to this person, or whatever's going on with this son, 
This could be an adult son, even. Um, because they trust whoever the fuck is asking. Like, oh, you're so concerned, aren't you sweet? You know, that's so nice of you. I'm so glad we talked. And this person's turning around going, ha, 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 I'm going to take all this information and do whatever with it. Yeah. Someone's still trying to get some information, though. Path. I'm still working on this path. Oh, the name Pat. Like Patricia, Pat, Patty. Could be significant here. Or Pa, like Papa, Pa, as well. Something to do with a lunar eclipse. It's making me think of like a total eclipse of the heart. You know what I mean? Like when you really love someone or you're like, because we do have that ending energy and then kind of changes and in, in refreshed energy. So there's opposing energies here. There's someone who's not focused on the situation anymore, but there's still someone who is. Um... But it's like a total eclipse of the heart. It's like, yay, I love you, blah, blah, blah. I like this. And then all of a sudden, nope, don't. I don't anymore. Um, yeah, there's a change of heart here. Possibly because you just can't think about the situation anymore or something. I just heard I thought you were obsessed with me. So someone thought you were obsessed with them because of whoever the fuck was being a phony. But you're not, so, you know, whatever. Let them think whatever they want. Because you're just working on yourself and building up your life, basically. You're just working. You're just spending time working on whatever you're working on or, or wherever you're working at. Yeah, building blocks again. Um, whatever you're working on is uh, basically going to... It's going to work out for you. Why did these blocks have to happen? Like, why was this made so difficult? Why is this person even doing this in the first fucking place? Because of a serendipitous moment. Yeah, because of a connection. I don't know. I feel like I don't want you to be happy. Or... <sighs> How come you get that and I don't? Like, that type of shit? I don't know. Someone doesn't like you. Whatever the reason is, who gives a shit because they're an asshole. And women can be assholes, too. Just like I say, bitches can be... Men can be bitches, too. Yeah, well, I don't know. This soulmate connection is definitely on the rocks. It's not... It hasn't... Um, I don't know. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like... I can't even say it's, it's over or it's not over because whatever this is never even started in the first fucking place. But it's still kind of teetering. Like, it could go either way. Um, like, why do you want to build with me? What... Why do you want this connection or do you even want it? Why me? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, this person's thinking about, there could be a masculine energy who's thinking about connecting with you and like, what is this even about? Um, hi. So maybe you said hello to this person or they're, they want to reach out and say hi to you. All right, give me more. To the sea. That's a sense of sadness. There is a significance with a bathtub too. And it's a clawfoot tub. Um, it's making me think of a dream that I had a long time ago. I don't remember when. I did share it on here. But there was more to it than just this. But there was one part. Because a lot of times when I have dreams about bathrooms. Or anybody has dreams about bathrooms. That's a, a very private place. So these are like locked away feelings and thoughts and stuff whether they're yours or another person's because I in this dream I was going from different bathrooms and shit and different people were in different bathrooms and each bathroom looked different so it's almost like knowing things about certain people and needing to keep it contained like I know this about you you know and it's private basically but this clawfoot tub in the dream wasn't in a bathroom it was in like a basement or a hallway or something and it was I think it was up on like bricks. Oh, it was up on blocks. And it was kind of like, it wasn't like sturdy ground basically, which these emotions definitely aren't stable ground. You know what I mean? Um, so it could be like emotions could be running high in this situation or they did or they were or something. Yeah, this person wanted, it's sad. They want to fix something. They don't know how to fix something, but they want to, 
there's an apology here. I want to work together with you is what it feels like. But anyways, um, this little girl was like, get in the tub. And I'm like, no, it's not sturdy. I'm not getting in there. I'm going to, it's going to, I'm just going to fall over. You know what I mean? And she's like, oh, trust me. It won't. So I did. And you know, I, I trusted the girl and then everything worked out, even though it was a little scary, basically. I can't remember exactly the entire part of that, but somebody could have a cloth a tub or maybe there's one in storage that's significant for some reason. Um, but yeah, there's just some shaky ground. Because if you think about it too, with a tub, with it being filled up, the water was already there. Like the little girl filled up the tub for me. I didn't even fill it up myself. And then I climbed in. So, I mean, there could be a little girl, a daughter or something in, involved in the situation for some of you, but um, th that's just a level of innocence, you know, like innocently saying or doing something. Um, so the feelings were already there. It was just scary to get in touch with them. It was just, it was scary to climb in. So someone was scared to climb into their fields because they probably got a lot of sad feels, you know? Um, yeah, because they've been left out quite a bit, just saying. I, that's changing though, which is awesome. Give me more on the building blocks. Yeah, whatever this is didn't move forward. These blocks are not gonna move forward. Yeah, these blocks aren't moving forward. That? So if an ex or anyone like that was blocking your forward movement in love, um, that's not going to move forward or things aren't moving forward between you and an ex for some of you, unless that's someone you're dealing with. And then, you know, between them and their ex, it won't be moving forward. <sighs> Coming out of sadness. I just heard, why are you even trying? Why are you even trying? Huh. Because it's making me think of like when you say hi to someone, you initiate conversation, which is what hello is. It's like, why are you even trying? Because this person's either in their sad feels or because of what happened between you two. Like, why are you even trying? Because there's potential here. There's t there's still two cups standing. I don't know. You, you see... You must see the beauty in this situation or in this person and this, this other person's having difficulty seeing that. Um... I don't want any bad blood is what I just heard. So it's like, I want to come out of this sad shit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to look at the brighter side of a situation. Why? Why are you even trying? Because you're not upset anymore? That's why you're trying? You're not upset over the situation? It's like, whatever you say isn't gonna hurt me like you think it is or vice versa. I don't know, something like that. Relationship, family situation. I want one more on that. Someone could be stuck in a family situation because I just saw the hangman, but yeah, this control, giving up. Somebody needs to relinquish control, I'm just going to say. But I do see that up here where someone was very stubborn and rigid and they're kind of, they're not. They're trying to let that go. You thought you had me fooled, but you didn't. Someone's family was controlling a relationship situation, some type of soul connection. Because they, they, it's almost like someone's trying to dictate who the hell you should be with or not. Like, I'm going to choose your mate for you. I don't want you to be with someone, so I want you to be with anyone but so-and-so 
or I want to control the situation because buy buy options so that this is the only option for you. Someone's family pulled some bullshit and probably fucked up a relationship for you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but well, there's love. Well, I did say the tub was full of emotion, you know what I mean? Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Why do people do this stuff, you know? Actually, I want... I don't know about this love. So there's a lot of questions surrounding this person, your feelings towards them or their feelings towards you or something. I don't know about this love. Um, UPS or a mail carrier could be significant. So like FedEx, UPS, USPS, something. Um, I don't know about this love. Yeah, somebody was trying to, access denied. They were trying to lock, lock someone out of your life ED, erectile dysfunction could be in here too for someone, but, um, or education. Huh. All right, give me, what's up with the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords? I just heard I'm going to give you the crash course. So there could be some information that someone's going to deliver to you or that you're going to deliver where it's like, all right, we're just, I'm not going to go into great detail, but this is the summary of what happened kind of thing. Or I'm going to teach you this really fast because we need to get on with this. Love, new door to experience love. Yeah, somebody's trying to control who you love, who loves you, how the shit you connect, or just make them leave you alone. Yes, that, that's fucking weird, but someone was doing it. And it's not just because they don't want you to be happy. They want you to be with someone specific. So this could be a specific person's family. So say you don't want to be with an ex of yours or you don't want to be with whoever the hell this is and their family wants you two to be together. It's their family that did this. That came between you and other options, another person that messed with you because they, there's an ulterior motive here. And I don't know whose family did what, but someone's family is fucking stupid. They're very charming. I don't know, I feel like this person was made to ignore you on purpose. Or whoever was pulling this bullshit was ignoring you on purpose because they didn't want you to know, you know? Yeah, they might want to apologize for some crap they pulled. This is, I don't know, this just took a turn. But this one's long enough because I know that Link is awake and Logan was nice enough to sit down there with, with him so that I could do this quickly because I know Hero will be up soon as well and it's just about lunchtime so I'm gonna have some chicken noodle <laughs> that's like the first dinner type uh, baby food that they've tried and they loved it last night and so far no bad reactions and they've had all the fruits and veggies from the stage one and stuff and they do well with that so that's good um, I can't believe that they're almost six months old it, it just it blows my mind it feels like they just got here. It literally feels like I just ran around for two days straight getting the house situated to bring infants here. And now they're going to be six months in five days. Because, yeah, there's 31. Yep. In about five days. And it's just like, where the, did the time go? You know what I mean? So time could have flown by in this situation for you. But it's like, you blink your eyes and everything changes you know 
So whatever situation you're in, whatever circumstances are going on, no matter how shitty they are, just know that you'll look back and go, wow, that was just a blip on the map. You know, that it's not as, it's not as much of a big, it's not as much of a big deal as, as you once thought it was because it's not happening anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, life changes, people change, things change, and things always get better. And don't worry, like a new start is coming. Something good is headed your way. Have faith in your dreams. Um, you guys are already seeing some of these positive changes for yourself, even if it has nothing to do with a love relationship. Um, but I do feel like these blessings are coming in for you because, you know, the universe spirit they they saw what these people did they saw what was going on and you will be rewarded for you know your efforts and the role that you played so if you didn't hurt anyone you didn't deserve whatever this was um you didn't retaliate you handled the situation properly or whatever you'll be rewarded for that and if, if those rewards are coming in which is amazing but i love you guys peace